Praise God everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rotliff Bible Net, praise God. And today we are looking at the topic, the good fight, amen, the good fight. So we want to ask the question, what is the good fight? And what are some biblical qualities to ensure my victory in this fight, amen. Before I go into this video, I just want to ask that you subscribe to our channel, support this ministry, hit that notification bell so you can receive notifications when we upload new content, amen, and like the videos and share them and also leave your comment in the comment box below, praise God. Check out my website also, it's in the description section, amen, and you can go there and check out my content. With that out of the way, let's get straight to the topic, the good fight. So, what is the good fight and what are some biblical qualities? to ensure my victory in this fight so the good fight has nothing to do with guns and knives amen it it, it, it has nothing to do with um, your fists or, or swords and, and, and stuff like that right it's, it's not a, a physical fight it's a spiritual fight so when the Bible mentions the good fight it associates it with with faith amen one scripture says that without faith it is impossible to please God. So we can also look at this and say that without faith, it is impossible to fight the good fight. So faith also is real hard work. Amen. We have discussed this already and I won't go into much detail as it pertains to faith. But faith is real hard work. And there is little um, topics in, in, in the Christian world that you can touch and don't mention faith. Because the Bible said without faith. It is impossible to please God. So to fight the good fight, we need faith. Amen. Faith is also um, is a spiritual fight which we all must deal with as Christians. The, the, the Lord made it clear, amen, that without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Amen. Just said that. Now we want to look at these six qualities, right, to help us in our fight, our faith fight, fighting the good fight of faith amen first timothy 6 verse 11 and 12 says be thou o man of god but thou o man of god flee these things and follow after righteousness amen godliness so righteousness godliness faith love patience and meekness amen six things fight the good fight of faith verse 12 lay hold on eternal life amen we are unto thou art also called and uh, and has professed a good profession before my witness amen so the scripture lists six things this scripture that i have just read first timothy 6 verse 11 and 12 it lists six things which we ought to seek after more than anything else especially in fighting this good fight running this christian race amen number one is righteousness right without righteousness we are unworthy of the blessing of god because god does not want any of us to live in unrighteousness but to live in righteousness to walk in the straight and narrow to to to, to feast on his word amen to pray without ceasing amen to fast and seek his face righteousness these are the things that build up our righteousness because righteousness is like justice it is it is you know we setting up ourselves to be closer to drawing closer to god through bible studies and fasting and prayer righteousness is required right if we are going to fight this good fight so we can't fight this good fight of faith you know being um pretentious you know acting as if we are in the will of god when we know that we are not in the will of god so we must be sincere and be totally sold out to God. It is called righteousness. And one scripture said, our righteousness are as filthy rags. So even though we might look in, you know, in our own eyes, we might look righteous. The Bible said, our righteousness is as filthy rags. But we have to do our best to ensure that we come up to the level of righteousness that is required by God. Praise God. For the number two on my list, I have godliness. Now, godliness and righteousness are, are you know, walking hand in hand they, they are similar right godliness is a lifestyle of devotion to god amen and, and if we are not devoted to the things of god we are going to give in to the devil's tricks easily so we must live a godly life fully committed to him you know devotion devotion to god is a must 
oftentimes some of us get up in the morning you know we didn't wake up ourselves and we don't even kneel by our bedside and pray before we start our day it is critical that we see the face of the Lord you know read the scriptures you know and, and just meditate upon the Word of God before we go out into the world to start our day it's a form of godliness right for number three on my list amen I'm trying not to make this video too long but you can see it's going away but for number three on my list is faith and we have touched on faith a little so this is the the, the theme of this faith of this topic faith right and the 12 verse made it clear in the text that I've just read it made it clear that faith for your it made it clear that the fight for your faith is a good fight right so we must fight to attain to the level of faith that God wants to see in us amen it's, it, don't, it don't come easy it takes hard work and we must we must wrestle we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in wickedness in high places those are the things that we wrestle against but we must wrestle against these things in order to attain the level of faith that we need because without faith it is impossible to please god amen number four is love love and love is a very very deep one it's a very very um interesting and and a must for Christians, for believers in Christ Jesus. Amen. Love is a virtue, but we don't truly love God if we don't love our brothers and sisters. Amen. Right? So, because the Bible said that how can we love God whom we cannot see, right? And hate our brothers and sisters who we can see. Doesn't make sense, right? Because we can't see God and we claim that we love God. We love God, right? But we can't see God. But we can see our brothers and sisters. So we have to practice to love them first before we can love God. Critical. Amen. We should search deep within our hearts and question within our hearts, right? And, and, and whether or not we truly love one another. Amen. One, one Bible verse said that we must love one another. We must love because love is the fulfillment of the law so love is critical my friends right so let us not be hateful of each other and, and and no matter what people might do you show them love right they are human just like yourself god created them as he created you he formed them in their mother's womb just as he, as he formed you in your mother's womb so show love to your brothers and sisters no matter how how you know terrible or how um, unbearable they might be at times right show him love because it is the will of God and we want to please God rather than man amen number five on my list is patience amen we need not rush things right we should be patient enough to allow God to work things out in his time frame not in your time frame or my time frame but in God's time frame right it, it, it and, and, and the truth is God has eternity to bless us so some things that we, we have prayed for and they have not come through as yet right we need to understand that patience is a virtue amen so we have to be patient when we pray about anything we need to be patient with the fact that God God's time is different from ours right because they that patiently wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength so be patient my friend in this fight of faith this good fight right this good fight of faith be patient patience is also a virtue and we need to be patient right and humble now for our number six on my list um, brothers and sisters is meekness meekness we have read about meekness in the bible but the word meekness is a very serious word amen it, it don't it don't come up a lot in our everyday life right except for when we read the bible of course amen and and, and we will see that word meekness and and one scripture said that you know the lord g christ was meek he was very meek amen but to be meek is to possess the power to harm or to do your brother hurt or your sister hurt or, you know, to do evil to, to hurt someone you, you have power to do anything right but you chose rather to suffer humiliation 
suffer persecution, suffer ridicule, suffer setbacks, suffer, um, you know, just abandonment and, and suffer, you know, all these things, right? Rather than using your power for evil. Jesus did this. And the scripture said that we should follow his examples. Amen. Jesus is our perfect example of meekness. Amen. Because Jesus was so meek. Right? But he was firm in his faith. So not, not because you are, you are meek, you are going to be puny in your faith. But you have to be firm. Amen. Struggles will come and there will come situations and temptations and times when you feel like throwing in the towel and just giving up and just, you know, forgetting about all of this. But please, meekness is a virtue and meekness suggests that we, even though we suffer persecution and even though we, we face rejection and face humiliation and all these things, meekness suggests that with all that, we are firm, right? We don't easily throw in the towel we don't give up without a fight meekness so to fight the good fight of faith we must be meek as christ was meek in his ways and when he was walking the face of this earth follow let us follow his examples and do what he he has done amen because at the end of the day it's not about you it's not about i it's all about jesus right so fight the good fight of faith. Put in some work and fight. Amen. I hope something that I have said in this video would have blessed you in the Lord and encouraged you in the Lord to continue to fight the good fight and to continue to press toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. God bless you everybody. Thank you for your time. Watch you for watching this video. And please, I pray someone will, will just be blessed by what i have said and, and you will just turn over your life to god for those who have not yet done so my prayer is that you will be saved you know ready and waiting to meet your savior not be getting ready amen be blessed now and please subscribe to our channel support the ministry like share and share the videos leave your comments also and check out my website it's in the description section amen thanks for watching bless you